Alfonso, welcome to Leicester. What do you believe you can achieve with this club? Uh, first of all, good afternoon. And uh, yeah, uh, we all know the targets, uh, but I think the most important thing is to go step by step, and that means now the most important thing is to create the right squad with the right players, or at least the players that we think they can fit with the idea. And then uh, it's just, uh, as I said at the beginning, it's first of all to create something important and then to build, build. And the target, because the club uh, deserve probably something different, we all know the target. Is that target? an immediate return to the Premier League? Uh, to be honest, I like to, because I know quite well uh, the idea, I like to talk about, first of all, about the, the process that bring us to get promoted. That at the end is the most important thing. Then if it's this year, hopefully, if not, it's important to to, to build something important for the next three, five years. We talked there about building a squad here. You've brought two players in already, Connor Cody, Harry Lewis. Mm -hmm. What will they add to this squad? Is, is that, does that give an indication of the kind of players you're looking to bring in here? Yeah, I think it's a, a good signal from the club and because they are both very, very important players, not only uh, in terms of quality inside the pitch, but also we are looking for players that they can be uh, example for the for the young players and for the rest of the teammates. So Connor is one of the that guy. Even Ari, it's a good one. And the idea is to bring in more players with uh, quality, not only inside the pitch, as I said, and but also. They, they can help us to build, as I said before, something important. Not only, I know that most of us, we are worried about the, what's happened tomorrow, what's happened tomorrow, tomorrow. But the idea for us is also to see a little bit more longer. You've lost some players. Obviously, James Madison has now departed. Will there be many more departures? Do you know how many more players you could lose? And have you got a number of players you want to bring in? No, anyway, it's it's difficult because when until the the market is open, anything can happen. For us and for the other clubs. So at the moment, as you said, uh, seven players expire contract. Uh, Madison left, and probably can happen that some more of the players they can leave. But at the same time, if somebody leave, we can we can bring in some new players. You had a, an incredible year uh, working closely with Pep Guardiola um, last season. What did you learn from him and, and will he continue to be a figure that will be there to offer advice to you? Uh, I, I always try to, to learn as much as I can. Uh, last year happened exactly the same. Has been, anyway, an unbelievable season because we achieve all the almost all the target but at the end yeah as i said i just try to learn every day there and here will we see a sense of what you learned there from him and the kind of football he plays will we see that on the pitch you want to know if we are going to play in the same way yeah <laughs> no anyway this uh, uh we are the idea it's it's that idea but uh, as I said at the beginning it's not uh, tomorrow it's a process so the idea is to try to play in one way the way we want but that uh, required time hopefully we can achieve as soon as possible have you studied what it takes to get out of this league likes of what Burnley achieved last season, the way they played perhaps? Have you, have you really looked at kind of this league and, and what it takes? 
No, it's, I think it's a complicated uh, league. Also because many teams, they are always fighting uh, to, to be promoted. And the way, we always said the same, you can win in one way or you can win in different way. That means that one is good and the other one is not good. It's just to, to see the squad we, we create and since that moment, we see the way we're gonna, we're gonna try to achieve our target. And in terms of creating that squad, we talked about players you might bring in, you make some permanent signings. Could you utilize your contacts with Manchester City to, to maybe bring some of their young talent through the door? We see, we see. They are not uh, our players, so I don't think it's correct to talk about them. But uh, we see, as we said before, the market is long, so we have many, many days, many weeks, month. So we see. And what kind of manager would you describe yourself as? What sort of manager do you think you will be? Uh, <laughs> I, for me, I said, I said before, even that uh, my position is where it is now. I always try to to be like a sponge and to to try to to grow and to learn every day and then at the end the reason why I was where I was is because my idea it's uh, goes in that way that is tr to try always to uh, to have the most beautiful thing for the player that is the ball this is this is our target Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Enzo. Good to meet you. Um, why did you decide to take the Leicester City job? Listen, because uh, first of all, it's an unbelievable club. For me, uh, personally, it has been a little bit difficult because since I joined Manchester City, I felt, we felt, me and my family, part of the family there. So probably personally has been not easy, but professionally, no doubt. I immediately, because I, I consider Leicester an important club, Premier League club. The reality in this moment says that we are championship club and we have to adapt as soon as we can. But it was an easy choice for me to join this club. You talked about the, the process and, and what you, that you have to go through in order to get promoted. What does that look like step by step? What are the, the, the initial steps you have to take in that process? To create the right uh, squad. This is the first, the first thing. And then, as I said, we can go through the, the day by day. Uh, you mentioned with Kirsty about whether you might set this Leicester team up to play in a similar way to how Pep Guardiola might set a team up. Of course, everyone will probably think of that. But I wonder for you as a manager, what are the, the core principles of, a, of an Enzo Maresca side? Well, as I said before, to have the ball that uh, I think all the players, when they born, they were looking for a ball to play, not uh, to play without the ball. So our idea is to try to, to have the ball as, soon, as much we can. And because I said, I think they, they enjoy having the ball, not uh, running in behind, you know, the, the opponent. So this is for us the, the first target. But in the same time, we have to adapt because it's a bit different Leicester in Premier League than in Championship. Leicester in Championship is every team that wants to come here and take points because we are Leicester. They're gonna come in our stadium and try to get points because we are probably for them the most important club in championship. And I leave this in the last two years, last year and two years before with City. Every team is coming there to try to get points because they are probably the best team in, in Premier. Exactly the same will happen with us. So we have to be ready in that. So with that in mind, how important is getting the, the mentality of the players right? We need to adapt. We need to adapt because uh, championship is <laughs> different than Premier League. Because all the teams, they come to Leicester and they face us. 
the target is to play against uh, probably for them the best club in championship and if, if we don't adapt uh, could be bad thing obviously lots of players have left the club Madison to Tottenham and, and seven players out of contracts uh, one of the players that was out of contract was Johnny Evans and the club said they had offered him a, a new deal have you had any indication as to whether he, he, he will sign that deal or is that not not yet decided no it's just uh, as 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 we said before we are creating a build so we are there we have uh, chat I'm in you know in contact with the club every day every moment so we see in the next weeks. Because you have to adapt quickly for the championship and it is a very, very different position that Leicester will find themselves in this season. How important is it to get the business you want to do in the transfer market done quickly? I know you've already brought in Connor Cody and, and Harry Winks r relatively quickly in order to make sure that the team is, is ready for the new season, especially with a, a trip to Thailand and, and Singapore in the diary as well. Yeah, it's... Uh it's a normal thing to try to have all of them as soon as we can, because that means that we can work with them soon. But the problem is that the thing that we want is the same thing for different club. So all, we all want the same, the same. And in this moment, the market is always, uh, the, the club, they try to keep the players, they try to get more money, because at the end it's business. And but yeah, the idea is to 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 bring as soon as possible all the all our targets. Enzo, thank you very much. No problem. Enzo, um, what excited you about this job here at Leicester City? Then, what made you really want to come here? Um, it is a club going through a rebuild. It um, needs a re new start. What excited you about the job? Yeah, this is one of the reasons why I accepted it immediately because I know that there was a rebuild, there was need a rebuild, and to be part of that for me it's important. And uh, as I said before, Leicester for me it's an important club, an unbelievable club. Uh, so uh, I consider Leicester a Premier League club, as we said, but. Uh, in this moment, we are not. So the target is as soon as we can to come back in Premier League. And this is the reason why, to be honest. As somebody who's quite new to management, a huge challenge there, you know, as you've said, getting back from the Championship to the Premier League is, is a big job. Um, what can you promise the fans? Because that might be something they're worried about because you're an experienced coach, but I suppose a novice manager. Uh, first of all, I would like to say that we need fans, especially in this moment. They always have been unbelievable. But in this moment, that uh, after last season, probably is the moment that we need more. And I, I, I don't have any doubt about you know their support for this season. And uh, that's all. You ask me something more. Why do you want to be a manager yourself? Uh, because I love, I love to be manager, and because I spent almost uh, the last uh, seven, six, seven years uh, being coach, manager every day. No, I always said the same. I've been quite lucky because I work with uh, yeah, Ander Ancelotti, Lippi, uh, Manuel Pellegrini. Uh, so I've been quite lucky. And I, I just try to learn things from all of them. Absolutely, yes. But what do you mean important role? Um, tell me, will you play every week? Will you um, keep the club getting back in the Premier League? How much 
is an unbelievable player and hopefully he can stay with us and this is the most important thing. Uh, the market is open. Anything can happen. So it's the same. We can we can bring in players, but at the same time we can sell players. And just finally for me, um, what is your promise for the Leicester City fans? It's a new era that's beginning under you. There's lots of excitement. What is your promise to the Leicester fans? No, just a commitment that uh, I think is the most important thing, that they can see the team with uh, passion. Thank you. No problem. training ground on a few occasions I'd imagine now, met the players for the first time. What's your in impression of this place and the players that you've seen so far? Overall very good to be honest. Uh, you know the facility are uh, probably one of the best. I met the team, I met the staff this morning, so very good first impression. What kind of manager are you? When I ask that I mean <coughs> an approachable manager do you talk to your players on an individual basis? Do you go via coaches or intermediate can the players come and talk to you openly about anything that they need to know? <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, yeah. No problem. You clearly impressed the club by getting this job. What were your impressions of the board members that you spoke to, the owner of the football club who is ambitious, have admitted maybe making some mistakes last season, but will you get what you need in the next three years to get the job done here? No. First of all, the ambition was very high when I met them the first time. So after last season, nobody's happy. So this is normal. But I really like the ambitions they have. And this was one of the reasons why I decided also to, to accept. It's obviously your second managerial job. It was mentioned about Palmer before. What did you learn from your time there as manager? It's a short period there, but what did you learn? What were your main takeaways from there? Oh, yeah. First of all, uh, I think, uh, as always said, we were in the right path, but at the end, you cannot control uh, decision from other people, you know. Uh, I learned many things because... <laughs> After an experience, you always try to to learn things. Uh, but at the end, as I said to you before, I think we were in the right path, uh, the right direction. And so, just uh, this is was just something about uh, the past. Are you happy with the plans that have been made for free season, the clubs that you'll be facing in friendlies? going to, to Bangkok and Singapore. Is that the right kind of preparation for a championship season? Yeah, now, anyway, the, the pre-season in the last 10, 20 years probably changed completely. You move a lot. Uh, before, it was completely different. So you need to adapt. This is uh, football today. You always have pre-season abroad. So in our case, we have to, to adapt in that and be ready for the first game at home. And the first game, as you mentioned, against Coventry, big game for the fans, a derby match. How do you see that? Yeah, big game for the fans, big game for us. It's always good to start in the right way, and we're going we're gonna to try to be ready for that. Cheers. Good luck this season. Thank you. A couple from Mark, and then we'll go through the Danish after that. Hi, Anto. Good to speak to you. Good to see you today. Is there anything that you can take from your time at West Brom which might help your team? No, yeah. I was a long age. First of all, so you, <laughs> it's, uh, no, it's, yeah. For me, I spent there almost two years. I was very young, it was an unbelievable experience, but uh, it's more than 20 years ago, so it's just a good, good, uh, good experience, but uh, time ago. We all know just how relentless and difficult the championship is. You've spoken about that. It's not really very glamorous when you compare it to the Premier League instead of going to places like. Arsenal or Manchester City, even you're going to places like Plymouth. Will it be a culture shock for your players and does their mentality now need to change because they are going to difficult places that some have never been at before? Yeah, this is uh, 
this is one of the targets to understand and to adapt at the competition. Uh, we all know that uh, when you used to play in Premier League and then you relegate, you need to change things, you need to adapt immediately because the opponent, they don't see you like uh, in Premier League, like uh, a normal opponent. In Championship, they see you like a big opponent. So you have to be ready and adapt soon. Just a final one from me. I know you've spoken about the target. Everybody knows that target. But on the other hand, you're also talking almost like you're asking for a bit of patience from the fans from us here that it might take a bit longer. But would it be considered a failure if Leicester weren't at the very least in the playoffs and it come the end of the season? But, uh I said, uh, I know that uh, we all want to hear that the target is there, but to be honest, I'm not, uh, uh, I don't know if the right word is stress. I'm completely relaxed because for me now, the most important thing is the day by day to build a good squad. And then from there, we'll see what's happened. But now uh, for me to see what's happened in June or May, it's too far.